Alright, I'm gonna remake this because I realized I had the triggers wrong. I'm going to try to do the best version of this to demonstrate it, which is harder. And then I'll do like the safe version. This might send me too high. Oh, it worked. Okay. That's what you want to happen. Dip straight into the switch room. You can very rarely go too high. I think it's... I'll explain later with the jump slashes. I'm just doing this to make sure that I hit all the triggers that I needed to. Yeah, so I did get it. That's the best way you can do the zip. Is just to do it straight up and get it. But the safer way, because there's two triggers you need to hit. At least, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Oops, oh my god, I went to the wrong save. Sorry. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure the way it works is that there's a trigger by, like, the entrance when you walk in where that cutscene is. And there's a trigger over either, like, where the slide is or where the plank is, maybe. Or just somewhere over in that general direction. <clears throat> so the safe version. So when I did the zip here, I zipped <clears throat> with this uh, aim. Kind of like there. And what that did is hit the edge of the platform. There, excuse me, hold on. Sorry for that, I had a cough. Alright, so yeah. When I zipped, I hit the edge of that, which hit this trigger. And then it also hit the trigger that's necessary, which I'm, I think is that plank over there, if you can see it. Right on the edge. So yeah, so the... Fastest way to do it is to line up like that to hit them both while you're zipping. But the easier way to do it is to come out here and just go past this like pillar and that'll hit the first trigger. But don't don't hit the cutscene. And then come back and do it <coughs> in this order. Do the jump slash first. And you need to delay the jump slash. I'll show you what I mean by that. If I jump and mash like I'm doing there now, and zip it. You might, already, you might already know this, so I'm just showing in case you don't see how high you went. Not high at all. But if I delay it, like wait until he does the full jump and then slash, like that, then he'll go much, much higher. Like that. That wasn't much, much higher, but um, let me do that again. Yeah, he can go really high, which is the height, that, which is the height that you need for to get this jump. Oops. Okay. There. You see how he went really high? I did, I did 24 inputs, <laughs> which made him skip the downward part of it. That was funny. But yeah. See, he goes way higher, so you need to delay the jump until like, or the slash until he's at the peak of his jump. You slash like there. Like that. It looks almost identical. Like that's mashing. This is waiting. But you need to do that, otherwise it won't work. So yeah, walk out here, hit that trigger. Or you can try to hit it as you're zipping. Like I, I'm, I think I'm gonna try that way. Just a matter of aim. Just like, it's like right there. Yeah, and then, so jump, flash, back foot. Make sure you hold long enough. Oh, I mess. I like just missed it there. <laughs> Make sure you hold long enough when you do it. I've had that problem sometimes, where I didn't hold long enough to let him do do the full jump slash, the backflip jump slash, and we're there. 
with the camera all fucked up. Oh yeah, and then you just and then you can just continue as normally. Everything should be fine. I feel like walking out to the to the trigger is much safer than because if you zip and you miss it, then when you do that zip down there or however you do it to get up, the garden won't load. So I recommend walking out to it and coming back. All right, so that's that strat. Hope you liked it. Peace out.